Now, I've reviewed two excellent laptops from Lenovo here in 2022. They're both 14-inch laptops that bring a lot to the table. Now, I reviewed the Slim 7 Carbon with its 14-inch OLED 2.8K display, and I was fortunate enough to review the Lenovo Yoga 9i 14, both the Full HD and, of course, the OLED version with its 4K resolution. Both were excellent. Now, I wanted to see how these would compare since they both sport OLED displays, have a lot in common, but there are some key differences between the two. One is actually more expensive than the other. We're gonna get into it in this video. Hey everybody, it's Andrew, and this is the Slim 7 Carbon versus the Yoga 9i here for 2022. Coming up. Now, there's a pretty big disparity when it comes to the price. Now, the Slim 7 Carbon, when it was available on the website when I reviewed it a couple of months back, retailed for $1,283 US dollars. And the one on the right, the Yoga 9i with its 4K OLED display, will retail for $1,929. That should be released sometime in May. And there's also a full HD version, not quite as powerful, that is already available now for about $1,230. And I think it goes without saying the better value proposition, the one that gives you the more bang for the buck, will be that Slim 7 Carbon. That is, if you could find it. Right now it's showing unavailable, and I'll reach out to Lenovo to see when it'll be back in stock, hopefully very soon. Now, both have a really nice all metal design on it. The one on the left, the Slim 7 Carbon, has that magnesium alloy to make it really light. It also has that really nice cloud gray finish that doesn't show too many fingerprints, hardly any at all. Whereas on the right, the Yoga 9i with its all metal design, which is redesigned here for 2022 with its rounded edges, also has a really nice color. That's a storm gray, but that shows a little bit more fingerprints. Now, the carbon weighs 1.1 kilograms or 2.42 pounds. That comes in lighter than both the Full HD and 4K or 2.8K models of the Yoga 9i. That's because it has a magnesium alloy chassis. And when it comes to the ports and connections, there are some differences between the two. The Slim 7 Carbon shows here with two USB-C ports, first one being a 3.2 Gen 2, which supports DisplayPort 1.4 and Power Delivery 3.0. You can charge on that one. And the next one is a USB-C 3.2 Gen 1 port. And next to that is a microphone headphone combo jack. On the right side is another USB-C 3.2 Gen 2 port, a webcam shutter switch, which is great if you want to get more security and privacy, and finally your power button. There's no USB-A port on this and there's no micro SD card slot. Now they do give you that dongle in the box that gives you some of the missing ports, but not all. And on the Yoga 9i on the left side is a full-size USB-A port, which you gotta love, and then two Thunderbolt 4 ports that are full service. They do data, charge, and display out. Now moving over to the right side is your power button and next to that is a USB-C 3.2 Gen 2 port that also supports data charge and display out and finally your 3.5 millimeter microphone headphone combo jack. Also missing on this one is any sort of SD card reader. Okay, let's take a look at the displays and on the left the Slim 7 Carbon has a 2.8K OLED display running at 90 hertz and the Yoga 9i Gen 7 has a 4K OLED 60 hertz display and both are excellent but there are some differences between the two we're going to see in a moment but either way you're going to be very pleased with the display doesn't matter which one you go with they're both excellent in their own right. Now the Slim 7 Carbon has a 2880 by 1800 resolution and the Yoga 9i here is a 3840 by 2400, but they're both 16 to 10 aspect ratios, which if you follow my channel, you know I'm a big fan of, you get more done. It's a nice blend between productivity work and of course consuming media, although you will notice small black bars on the top and the bottom with the 16 to 10. Now, as far as the black levels, since this is OLED, you're gonna get the really deep blacks, the super vibrant colors, the excellent contrast, these do not disappoint in that regard. And they're both glossy displays, although the Slim 7 Carbon may be a little bit more glossy than the Yoga 9i, something to be aware of. But both have excellent coverage of the color gamut, as you see here. So if you're a content creator, you're going to love either one of these displays. They don't disappoint in that department. And these are both extremely color accurate displays, evidenced by the low Delta E scores that we see here. 
and these are both HDR displays and watching high dynamic range content as we have here has been excellent. And while these both have touchscreen displays, which are both very responsive in that regard, the Yoga 9i supports pen, whereas the Slim 7 Carbon does not. So if you need pen support, choose the Yoga 9i. Now, for those wondering, yes, you can open the lid with one finger with the Slim 7 Carbon, but the Yoga 9i, you can't quite do it. That's because that is a two-in-one convertible, and the hinges are not really designed to do that. And while you can fold the screen back on the Slim 7 Carbon 180 degrees, Yoga 9i is a two-in-one convertible, means you can put it into the different modes. You got the tent mode, which is great for recipes in the kitchen, consuming media, watching Netflix, Amazon, and YouTube. The same could be said for the stand or presentation mode, as some people like to call it. And of course, you could always put it into the tablet mode for use with the pen. Now, both of these feature soldered RAM, which is unfortunate. You'd like to be able to upgrade it down the road if you are the user. That's not the case with either one of these laptops. Now, you can configure the Slim 7 Carbon with up to 16 gigabytes of LPDDR4X RAM running in dual channel mode, whereas the Yoga 9i has the more modern LPDDR5 RAM, and you can configure that one with up to 16 gigabytes of RAM, and that is also running in dual channel mode. And when it comes to the SSD, the Slim 7 Carbon has a PCIe Gen 3 SSD storage, whereas the Yoga 9i has the faster Gen 4 storage, as you can see from these extremely fast reads and writes. And the good news is both are user upgradable. The Slim 7 Carbon has a Wi-Fi 6 Bluetooth 5 combo card that is slotted in. That means you can change it out down the road. That's good. However, the Yoga 9i has Wi-Fi 6E along with Bluetooth 5.2. And the Wi-Fi 6E is a definite upgrade over Wi-Fi 6, but unfortunately that card is soldered into the motherboard. That means you as the user cannot upgrade it down the road. Okay, let's talk about the webcams. On the left is a Slim 7 Carbon. It has a 720p IR camera. You can log in with face recognition with Windows Hello. And on the right, the Yoga 9i has a much better 1080p full HD camera, also IR, meaning you can log in with Windows Hello. And it also has a privacy shutter. And it's a wide angle lens on that Yoga 9i. It also has a few tricks up its sleeve, such as blurring the background with a click of a button. And let's see them in action. So this is the front-facing camera, 720p webcam of the Lenovo IdeaPad or Yoga, depending where you are, Slim 7 Carbon. It's got that OLED display. So we have an improved webcam this time around. They now move to a 1080p webcam, full HD. So if you're going to do your Zoom calls, if you're going to do your work from home needs, this should suffice in fact i actually think it's pretty good what do you think about the audio quality as well with the internal mics what do you think about the video quality let me know in the comments section below and when it comes to the sound i really were impressed by both of them actually both did better than i expected especially the slim 7 carbon now let's give it a listen in terms of a sound test Like a light lighting up in the dark. Like a light lighting up in the dark. You make it right, I forgot how to act. It's so plastic. Every time you make me nervous and I lose my. Now, I already covered the keyboards in their respective videos, so I'm just going to concentrate on which one is the better feeling keyboard and which one is a little bit more quiet. I think the better feeling one is the one on the left with the Slim 7 Carbon, but the quieter one is the one on the right. Let's hear them in action.
And they both have pretty nicely sized precision touchpad, although the Yoga 9i now has a 45% bigger touchpad than its predecessor, and I thought it was very good, but both were very responsive when it comes to two-finger scrolling, and all the gestures work as you'd expect. Both did a good job in that department. Okay, let's talk about the performance. And the Slim 7 Carbon is running the AMD Ryzen 7 5800U, an 8-core, 16-thread processor with integrated Radeon graphics. The Yoga 9i is running the brand-new 12th-gen Intel processor, the Core i7 1260P. That has 12 cores, 4 performance cores, and 8 efficiency cores. Although, I think the Ryzen 7 5800U is a little bit more efficient, but where you're going to see a really big benefit with this 12th-gen Intel processor is going to be in the multi-core performance scoring very high as you see here but both are very capable chips to do everyday tasks microsoft office email web browsing all work fine and neither one of these are gaming laptops. I think that goes without saying, but you can get playable frame rates if you lower some of the settings. Now, the Yoga 9i does have a little bit of an advantage since it does have two Thunderbolt 4 ports, meaning you can connect to an external GPU for more graphics horsepower if you so choose. Can't do that with the Slim 7 Carbon. All right, let's talk about the battery. And the Slim 7 Carbon has a smaller battery, a 61 watt hour battery versus the 75 watt hour battery on the Yoga 9i. And here you can see that the Yoga 9i with its bigger battery outpaced the Slim 7 Carbon with a smaller battery. It did 10.4 hours versus 9.176 hours on that same continuous web surfing test over Wi-Fi at 150 nits. So it's pretty interesting result here. But again, the bigger battery gives you the better result. And despite the fact that the Yoga 9i has this new 12th gen Core i7 1260p from Intel, which has those four performance cores and the eight efficiency cores, was supposed to be a little bit more cooler, run a little bit more efficiently, but I think it's still the case that the Ryzen 7 5800U is an incredibly efficient processor that does run cooler. So something to bear in mind when you're looking at these two, and I think the fan noise is a little bit louder on the 9i over the Carbon. So very interesting indeed, but I think at the end of the day, these are both excellent choices. It just depends what you're looking for. A lot more versatility in the sense that the Yoga 9i is a two-in-one convertible that can be used with the pen but if you're looking for a clamshell that is super thin and light that has some good performance and very efficient performance as well not getting too hot not drawing too much power i think the slim 7 carbon is a great choice that is if you can find it but at the end of the day these are both excellent choices from lenovo and i have no hesitation recommending either one so which one would you choose between the two the slim 7 carbon or the Yoga 9i. Now, I thought the sound was actually a little bit better on that Slim 7 Carbon, which is a little bit surprising considering the Yoga 9i has that really great rotating soundbar. But I'm curious to know what you think. Let me know in the comment section below. I think if you choose either one, if you can find them, that would be a good choice. Doesn't matter which one you go with. They're both excellent in their own right. And I'm not just saying that because these were sent over by Lenovo. No, uh, this is an unbiased opinion from me. I would have no hesitation choosing either one. Now, of course, if you need a pen, of course, that decision is very easy since the 9i supports pen and the Slim 7 Carbon doesn't. Something to bear in mind. Again, I want to know what you think. Let me know in that comment section below. So please hit the like button. Please subscribe. Please share this video. Don't forget to leave a comment in that comment section below. Let me know how I'm doing. Let me know if there's a device or something out there you think I should review. I'll do my best to try to make that happen. Don't forget to check me out on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and of course, my website, amdtechreviews.com. So until next time, this is Andrew from AMD Tech. See ya.